you got you got enough green things on you? Come on. Who's gonna brush you? Who's gonna brush you now, huh? This fur is like Velcro for everything in the woods. You did not make it as a wild dog, you're a city dog. Come on. Come on, city boy. Everybody, this is Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we are bringing you another campground review. We just spent um, three nights at um, Starlight Camping Resort in Stevens, Pennsylvania. It is in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area. So it's near the Pennsylvania Dodge and the Amish area. Um, it is a really nice campground. It was actually a, a really pleasant surprise. I found the campground by searching campgrounds.net and um, looked at the reviews and for the Lancaster area and this campground had a fairly high review. We pulled in really late uh, Friday night and you know, about 11 o'clock at night and we actually had someone um, by ha happenstance, uh, one of the owners met us at the um, office and gave us directions of where our site was and everything. Um, they put us in a, a pretty good site. Um, it was a little tricky to back in because you had to come in at a little bit of an angle because of a couple of trees. Um, but other than that, we were able to do it at, at night with just flashlights and such, so it wasn't that bad. The next morning, we, we actually found why the campground had such great reviews, and that is because of the view. It's up on a mountain, and they've got uh, the, a lot of the campsites in one particular area they call the um, Mid Plateau is all open and they have this awesome view over this valley and uh, we th that was really nice and they have a real nice uh, picnic pavilion up there and you know like I noticed when I was getting up walking the dogs a lot of people were up in the morning watching the sunrise and it was really it was a very nice view of, of the area and I think that's why the campground has such high reviews. So let's get the dogs and we'll go for a walk around the campground and we'll show you what it looks like. Coming up here, we're going to see the pool, and there's also a tennis court and basketball court, volleyball, and they even have horseback riding available. Now there's Diane and Zephyr. Let's continue our walk. In this section you can see the plateau that we talked about and this is the area that's got the great view. And we're walking up to the pavilion which has an awesome view of the uh, campground. You can actually stand at the pavilion and look out over the top of other uh, RVs. And this might be a good spot to cut in some drone footage of the view so let's go to the drone. What'd you think, Diane? I thought it 
thought it was a very nice campground. Our site was very nice, good size. Um, like Randy said, the only obstacle to backing in was a couple of trees there. It's a nice wooded area and um, turn left onto plenty North shade, Hills Road. But still letting some sun through. took several walks with the dogs and explored the campground. There was quite a few sites, some permanent, some just um, people that come and go or, you know. Transitional sites. Transitional sites. Yeah, weekend people and such. It was a nice area um, near Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the Amish people and the yeah, we were staying there the last weekend of September, and the, the campground was probably just about full. I think there was there was a few empty sites, um, but it was close to full. Fuller than I thought it would be, I think. Yeah, it was a busy weekend. We, we went to um, visit the Amish area. We went to Intercourse, Pennsylvania, and, you know, shopped around some of the little shops down there. Got some great uh, strawberry rhubarb jam and some salsa and such. Um, it's really close for that. It was probably only about 20 miles of country, nice country roads to get there. Went to Miller's um, Buffet for dinner and that was really good. And we went to Stratford, Pennsylvania and rode the train and went to the train museum. So a lot of things to do nearby that. So it's a, a convenient to that and it's uh, it was a very nice campground, I thought. I think definitely would come back again. Oh, definitely stayed there again and um, the people were very nice and it's easy check in and check out and uh, yeah we would, we would definitely uh, come and keep there again yep so not all the sites are full hookup some of them are just water and electric some of them do have sewer I didn't notice any um, campground uh, Wi-Fi available so keep that in mind we did use our um, Jetpack and was able to get AT&T cellular Wi-Fi without any problem. So um, we were able to, you know, get on the internet and stuff. But it was off of our connection, not the campgrounds. Um, I, we didn't go into the bathrooms. I heard that they were very clean. That other people that we talked to there said that, that they're very clean and nice bathrooms. They did have a laundry facility, a rec room down there. They had a store, and the store had ice cream and such. Um, they had activities for kids um, on, on Saturday night. They had a wagon ride to the campground and some other different things planned. Uh, bingo we saw, one hour bingo. A lot of stuff going on for the weekend for the weekend people there and, and such. And they look, and the, the sites were all clean and well maintained too. Yes. So definitely recommend uh, Starlight Camping Resort to anyone if you happen to be in the area. Thank you for watching Zephyr's Travels. If you like what we do, we will try to do more campground reviews. Like it, please subscribe, comment, and uh, click the, the notification bell so that you know when we post new videos. We try to post new videos at least uh, once a week. See ya. See you later, guys. Bye.